Emotional intelligence asks a lot of a leader, and while no one will excel at all aspects of the theory, it does have many practical applications. Transformational leadership, on the other hand, is very pie in the sky on what it asks of leaders. No one will ever be great at all four of the eyes, and definitely not all the time. Interestingly, some research suggests that improving emotional intelligence makes a leader more transformational. In addition, the overly broad nature of the theory makes it difficult to define. It helps to put this theory in perspective in order to better understand what we can, cannot, and should be doing. Let's start with idealized influence. Being a role model for organizational values is a canon trait of leadership theories. As I said in the last video, baboons look up at the alpha baboon every 20 to 30 seconds, and humans are similar in how closely they monitor a leader. How people respond to your behavior is out of your control, though. Some may be positively influenced by it, and others may be intimidated. Some may find it enlightening and inspirational, and others can view it cynically. What is important to keep in mind is that a leader, uh, you need to act like you're be constantly being watched because you are. This can also mean small slip-ups are magnified. Your life and actions are under a microscope, so behave accordingly. Individualized consideration is the other of the four eyes that is in the control of you as a leader. Getting to know people and understand them, what they want from their job and their career, and treat them accordingly. Trying to mentor someone to be a leader when they're not interested in being a leader is a waste of time. Regardless of their needs, you can help folks set and reach goals and provide the support that is needed for them. Be careful not to hold on to an initial impression of someone for too long. Reassess people from time to time to make sure nothing has changed with their life or career goals. Inspirational motivation. Now, a lot of stock is placed in motivation, but very little ever comes of it. An inspirational story may help you to decide to do something, but your work, your routines, and your habits day in and day out determine if the work gets done, not motivation. Motivation is fleeting, and if someone does not want to be motivated, then they will not be motivated. A better way to look at this may be to provide the proper recognition, feedback, and reward for work well done. Whether it's a thank you or an awards luncheon, people want to have their work recognized and appreciated. The toughest for any leader is intellectual stimulation, since most of the work will be done by followers. As a leader, you can question practices and throw out old traditions, but followers have to be willing to accept it and make it work. Followers' level of creativity, innovation, engagement, and comfort with change will vary greatly. You can help promote those traits, uh, create the kind of environment where those traits flourish, offer support when needed, but the followers have to do the heavy lifting here. Now, transactional leadership is a perfectly fine leadership style when the external environment is stable. Perhaps transformational leaders, who are few and far between, are only needed at certain times. Maybe even transformational leaders can be counterproductive in times of stability. Further, without solid checks and balances and firm grounding in ethical behavior, Transformational leadership can become exclusive and authoritarian, leading to manipulation, coercion, and abuse of power. Lacking critical pushback, transformational leaders can undertake change at too rapid a rate, leading to burnout in personnel. A leader's vision can also be misguided, taking the organization in a direction that could prove to be harmful in the long term. Transformational leadership strongly emphasizes a leader's personality, which is formed at an early age. This not only makes the necessary transformational traits more difficult to learn, but the emphasis on personality, appeal to emotion, and influence on followers can create a cult of personality. This can attract the wrong type of people uh, to leadership for the wrong reasons.